plenty of us would say, I don't care, it's only one or two millimeters. But if the people in the Middle Ages would have said that too, then we wouldn't have many cathedrals left to rebuild. Hello gamers, I'm Mortuary and welcome back to another modded Ark Scorch Earth video on the crazy fella server and well, you caught me at the right moment since it's raining on Scorched Earth. That doesn't happen a lot actually. Um, today, well the plan is to continue building our cathedral and uh, I'm thinking that today it's time to raise it one level. So, hmm, uh, at the second level, yes I also added this big gate here just to close it up a little bit. So the last time we finished the pillars on the inside and now it's time to build a second level which should be pretty similar to what we already have. Hmm. I just noticed something. Oh no, it is the same. I thought I had made an error, but it's okay. No problems. Yes, I'm a little bit overburdened, but that's just because I'm carrying all the stuff with me. I have... Uh, Lots of ceilings, lots of medium pillars, and lots of glass walls, and that should be enough to finish at least part of the building right now. Oh, visitors. Look who's here. Scripter is here. Woohoo! Scripter. He has a nice dragon, actually. Pixels. I like the colors. Yeah. It's pretty. It's darn pretty, yeah. Level 1200. Painted Dodo Weaven costume. Nice. Yeah, it does look awesome. I want one of those instead of the stupid Manticore that might disappear. Okay, enough uh, fooling around with creatures. It's time to keep building. I already tried a few things because uh, I was thinking uh, if I put in the glass walls and I have to raise up again and then put the pillars down from the top and uh, all that stuff and things. And I thought might, it might be easier to just put the pillars first. And I tried and it seems to be working. So I can put up the pillars and I can even put in two small ones at the top if I wanted to. So I'm going to do that right now so what I need is well first of all the wall try to put it on the inside then I'm gonna add a pillar and I should be adding two or uh, one more small one at top and this should be pretty easy I shouldn't have all too many problems with that like this oh no that wasn't necessary I think uh, no, this one wasn't necessary. I just need to place pillars where uh, I already have pillars. Because otherwise things won't be matching up the way I want. Okay, well I guess you got the picture. <clears throat> I will be placing pillars up on those as well. Because this will be raising to the next level too. Like that. Like that. Uh, this makes me think I will need... Way more pillars than I created for now. Hmm. Well, we will see once we are done. Uh, I'm gonna do this really quick. This will probably be another speed up thing. So I will talk to you guys once I have uh, something else to show you. Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. The lodge by the water, still my favorite place. I could come every year and it wouldn't change
Well, as you can see, I'm clearly missing uh, a lot of materials. I think I will be missing, well, about 100 of these pillars and a lot of those uh, glass walls as well. So let me do some counting and try to make some more glass walls and see if I can make some more pillars and then I will get right back on the building aspect. Okay, I'm back. I had to go farm for some materials, especially some crystal, which I could find in the cave there near the red obelisk. And uh, I have been able to make... Uh, well, 66 more glass walls, since I think that should be enough. I'm not quite sure yet. But I can make a few more with, the, more with the crystals I have. And I should have 100 more of those medium pillars. So that should last me for a little bit as well. So I think it's time to continue the speed building of the second uh, level. And I will talk to you guys uh, when I have an update. <laughs> Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. We dip our feet at the water's edge and everyone would come along to meet us there. Have a competition to see who can trap for longer Cause every year my body's getting stronger We can swim all day and dance into the night But we're not coming home till the moonlight shines Till the moonlight shines do do do, -do. Done placing the medium pillars and the uh, glass walls, but I noticed something special. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I will be able to show it, but uh, when you place the windows, make sure they line up perfectly. For example, I placed one of those walls. Let me show you really quick. First of all, now it places on the outside of the foundation. Now it places on the fence foundation, but if I would have a look, you see, it doesn't really match up. This one is now a little bit higher than this one. I don't really have an idea why. I think maybe it's related to the foundations and the fence foundations, but I noticed that I had to cycle through my uh, snap points a few times in order to get it right at some points. So cycling through the snap points again is done with, by pressing Q or Z button. And so that way I have been able to align them up perfectly. I'm going to check out the other side too to see if I see uh, any anomalies up there. I didn't pay attention on the other side, but I hope I did it okay-ish on the other side too. Quick check. Yeah, this seems to be aligned perfectly. Yeah, perfect. You see here, I have the same problem. 
the left one is a little bit lower than the right one. Now the question is, which one is the good one? And I have absolutely no idea. So what I'm doing mostly is removing one of the pillars and I check. Yeah, there's too many of them wrong. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm uh, done fixing all the things. I think I had to, to replace half of my uh, glass walls. And th the main reason was that they were snapping to the, I think to the wall below it and not to the fence foundation which caused some walls to be a little bit higher than the other ones. And, well, plenty of us would say, I don't care, it's only one or two millimeters. But if the people in the Middle Ages would have said that too, then we wouldn't have many cathedrals left to rebuild. So I decided to go ahead and fix the whole thing. And, uh, yeah, spend a little bit of time getting everything right. And last step now is uh, to put up some, uh, uh, some single pillars up top to finish it off so i'm gonna be doing that before we end up today's episode and i will be talking to you guys once i'm ready with that let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days the lodge by the water still my favorite place and i could come every year and it wouldn't change One final check, but I think I'm done with the second level. I think I finished uh, placing all the glass walls and all the pillars. I might have missed one somewhere, but I will be seeing that once I uh, place uh, the roofs. So about the roof, I have uh, actually no idea yet how I'm, how I'm going to fix that. Uh, I think in the front I should have a sloped roof. I still need to fl finish uh, the two towers in front too. But uh, probably it's time to take one of our flyers out and have a look around the building to see how it evolved. Okay, so I think it's time to make a little flyby and show you how it looks. I know it's difficult with this uh, big winged guy. I should have uh, tamed the moth just for this purpose. Maybe I can do that next time. But uh, right now, this is how the building looks. It's starting to uh, look really big. It doesn't really have the shape of a cathedral yet, but uh, that will come pretty soon. I think once we will be adding the roofs, it will get better. Uh, let me show it from this side. Maybe go into K mode. You see, it's uh, getting rather big. And the shape from the top... Yep, this is how it looks from the top. Not really clear, probably, but uh, yeah, sadly it's the only way I can show it. Oh, oh I could maybe abuse something. Mm. I'm going to try getting the, uh, the other uh, flyer, the gargoyle, and see if that one gives a better view. Yep, this is the shape of the building. It's a little bit easier to position yourself with uh, with this guy, although he is pretty fast. He can turn around his uh, own axis, so that's a little bit better. Okay, let me show you. So this is how the cathedral will look. I still have to do some finishing touches on the first two levels. Like, for example, I think uh, someone suggested that I should be cycling through the models of the glass windows in order to remove the iron from them. And that's, uh, that's something I had in mind as well. I'm not quite sure if I will be leaving it like this, uh, with uh, the big windows being two glass walls wide. Maybe I should uh, make them all one glass wall wide, but uh, I'm not quite sure about that. I will be cycling through the uh, models of the glass walls in order to get rid of the 
uh, frames next time. Uh, one look from the front. So this is pretty much the look from the front. Uh, here I still need to finish the two towers, one on this side and one on that side. They should be, oh, I think, at least twice as high as they are now, at least. Uh, so they stick out of the rest a little bit. Then uh, we'll be adding a sloped roof to the front, trying to bring it all the way to the back. Probably making a, a sloped roof in the form of a cross. Uh, because I have seen that many cathedrals have that. Or... If I can figure out how to make it beautiful, maybe I should have a rounded roof at the end. But I'm not quite sure how I should be able to, or how I could do that with the default uh, blocks in, in, well, S plus and arc. Look from the northern side. So this is a look from the northern side. The northern side will have two additional entrances. As you can see, there are two gates missing up there. Uh, same thing on the front actually, next to the big behemoth gates there will be two more smaller gates. Uh, most cathedrals or big churches have one big entrance and two smaller ones to the side. So I will be trying to mimic that as well. Now let's try to approach it from the front. This creature is probably too big to show you anything decent but I will give it a shot. So this is the front, I'm going to be trying to fly in very calmly and as you can see it's already two levels high by now. Ooh, it can get in. Uh, it can get in. <laughs> Scary. One big creature inside. Uh. Maybe I should just park it outside and walk inside <laughs> to give you a better idea. Oh, landing this thing is insane. Okay, let me try to land it right here. Will be the fastest and easiest way. Okay, time to get off and show you what I mean with the northern entrance and the main entrance. Ooh. Yeah, this one can can go now and I should probably add it up there oh yeah true I couldn't make it snap up here okay then no worries this is still a, a little side entrance otherwise I have to walk around the whole thing but uh, I'm going to show you from the north so this is how the northern entrance will look like. You see two gates, two little gates on the northern side. And this is the clover part where I have the bows and stuff. And from the front, there will be two towers. I'm still working on those. They should be twice as high as they are now, at least. So this is the main entrance. Yep. The main entrance, you see one big entrance, two smaller entrances to the side. And those will be two tall towers on each side from the inside well it looks pretty pretty but uh, plain for now well, how should I say uh, empty empty that's the word so I build up my cathedral I put up my pillars and I have the room to put benches and other stuff oh this is symmetrical I will have to fix that put up another ramp just to be sure and uh, yeah it goes to the end pretty much and this is how it looks now from the top well from the first floor you can clearly see that we added a second level to it and that's what I was mentioning people have been telling me or suggesting me that I should cycle through these models in order to get rid of the metal sides that it might look better and I will be doing that but that will be for next time next time we will be doing some cleaning up of uh, of this level probably adding some more stairs in here and adding some ceilings all around so I can get uh, one level higher maybe finish the towers next time so uh, yeah all stuff we have to do the next episode that's about it for today's episode I hope you enjoyed it if you did feel free to hit the thumbs up button if you want to see the other uh, episodes in the let's build a cathedral in arc then I will be posting a link to the 
series in the upper right corner right now. And you can click on those to see the full playlist uh, with up until now four. This is the fourth episode. So uh, yeah, if you like it, press the thumbs up button. If you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. And if you would rather get in touch with me personally, that's also possible. You will find links to all the social, social media channels and ways to reach me in the description of the video as well. As usual, I would like to ask you for one more thing. If you think this build is great, awesome, feel free to share it. But you can also help me out by uh, subscribing to, to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. Well, uh, I guess uh, that will be it for today's episode. And let me zoom out a little bit to show you the grandeur of the cathedral for now. Quick spin around. And well, I guess until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.